And welcome everyone to the fifth International Knowledge Seekers Workshop, Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. And we're going to start off today's teaching with a uh, video, um, promotional video from the Keshe Foundation for uh, World Peace. And we'll play that now. There are people listening from every corner of this planet. No knowledge has been dispersed so beautifully, so balanced across the planet, on this planet ever. Maybe in the universe. You have the full potential of achieving everything in the universe. There is no need and there is no reason for my not to achieve. So, wherever you are, the way I taught you to make the coils double coil inside, you have continuous equal gravitational magnetic field, and if you put CO2 on it, and you put zinc on it, you have connected the emotion of the man to it on a stable condition, and you'll find out you become a very peaceful man. Here, Instead of having galaxies and universes and creating connection magnetically, we have used the matter state, gravitational magnetic field strength to dominate and dictate the shape of the plasma. The nano technology, the nano material which you have collectively developed in different ways by caustic, by electric currents by whatever, fire or whatever, has that advantage that the matter, the nano and the plasma is all the same. So connection is very solid, it's very strong. The power of the plasma technology, the way we have thought, is beyond imagination of the mind. Now you can create and control the plasma, which is the mother of the creation of the universe. You are given the seed of the essence of the creation. The foundation does not belong to no one and is not made of one anymore. You are developing it, you are structuring it, and from today, we will be still the same. We'll still develop the technology in different names, in different colors, in different nationalities which they do not exist. It is beautiful when we see the Christian, the Muslims, the Jews, and every other belief are working together to build up systems. We have already become one faith. We already have become one nation and we already have become one planet. You got to remember one thing. Dates is irrelevant. Today is the last day of the Christian calendar or tomorrow is the beginning of another. One day is connected to another. We don't stop. We are working around the clock. The Keshe Foundation team is working in respect to our time, position, religion, country. And now we achieve what we set out for. I go back to this because it's important. We have, we... I'm going to start it in a way, you can cut this segment and put it on the internet. We are very precise about what is going to be discussed. As you know, 
in 2013, 2012, uh, in by the election of uh, His Excellency President Obama, on the day of his election, we received a request from the American government for sharing the USB stick with all the patterns of the Keshe Foundation in it, which in turn, on the same day we received an inviting from the embassy, we met with the Americans and we gave it to the public, it's on the Keshe Foundation forums. And a lot of people never stood still to understand what we've been repeating for a long time. The President of the United States, His Excellency President Obama, has not decided on the day of his re-election, I'm going to get in touch with the Keshe Foundation. It means he's been studying, he's been with us, he has understood the system, and he has understood the work of the Keshe Foundation to be essential for American nation. That's why for him was important, one of the leading world leaders in the world, on the day of his election, to be able to have to give that support to his nation, that it doesn't fall behind the Chinese or the Russians who already had the key. This indicates His Excellency President Obama has stayed close with us in our teaching, and in that process, in that process, we have confirmation that the White House is closely sitting with the Keshe Foundation. Otherwise, one of the most powerful men in the world, on his day of his re-election, would not ask, as we released an email from the embassy of the American government in Brussels, for request of our meeting, and then with that, we led with the peace talk with Iran, where we put the hand across the table. Your Excellency, we know you have been online for a long time. We welcome you to Keshe Foundation, as a member of the Keshe Foundation family, and not as a President of the United States. In certain ways, we received the second response from the White House, two weeks ago today. A lot of you do not understand, but those who care for your nation responded. On Tuesday, the 2nd of February, in this teaching, at about 30 minutes into the talk, I made this following announcement, that we see earthquake imminent in the United States, and we ask for the American government to take action. Your President has responded on the same day, immediately during and after the teachings, which is 8.30 US time. You can read, the link is on the screen. It says, America will be shaken like never before. New White House executive order paper for the big one. What to do? What do they know that we do not know? This executive order was issued on the 2nd of February, the day when we release the alert. And you can see it on the screen, you can go and read it, and confirm this executive order was issued immediately after the teaching of the 2nd of February. So, Your Excellency, we know you are with us, we invite you to openly join the Keshe Foundation. We know one thing, the President cares and is important, that's why he has put this new force on alert for American nation. But this is not enough. We need this alert for worldwide community, because this earthquake, when it comes, will affect every single one of us. What we have seen is that since the release of this paper, this executive order, a number of other organizations start explaining or announcing different uh, earthquakes possibilities. There is no difference. We are all working as one team, one family, and scientists connected or not connected to Keshe Foundation, warning of the other possibilities all counts. So, what this means is, Your Excellency, President Obama, you have my private number, you have my private email, you have written to us before, we respond to you one way. From the Keshe Foundation Worldwide, 
Last time, we extend the hand of Iran for peace. Now, Keshe Foundation worldwide puts a hand of peace for the world. The lines are open. You know how to get to us. You've done it. You're online. You listen or your group listen. So, instead of signing executive order for one nation, sign executive order for the worldwide. With the road American forces and prepare them for what is to come. In so many ways, the 21st, 22nd of April meeting in Dubai, we do not invite governments, but we allow governments to attend as part of the world community. It is important to understand what you need to do in the time of disaster. One of the most important things for you is to feed yourself enough that you do not come or you do not get contaminated by anything else. A lot of you have made the C2 boxes. A lot of you have built the CO2 boxes in the way of using copper and zinc. One of the main things which you can use in the time of disaster to replace the loss of food in a direct taking for protein is the amino acid which is washed, which is on top of your boxes. This is a protein structure, the same as protein structure of your body. Please understand exactly what you got to do in time when it's needed. When you have your CO2 box, when you make your plates and you have the fat on the top, that fat is the pure amino acid which your life is based on. It's the origin of the creation on this planet. Wash it, if you can find the still water, and consume it. Make sure you understand what you do. Those of you who do not want to consume it directly, use the same thing. Wash it, rub it itself on a glass, on a clean glass, in a way make your glass from outside fully covered with this amino acid. Make sure you wash the protein. Just put it in the water and just turn it around. It's very easy to do. Rub it on the glass and cover the glass with a plastic that you don't touch it. And any water you put in that cup carries the energy of the amino acid, it's like eating meat, it's like eating fish, it's like eating anything else. This is how you overcome immediate hunger in the time of disaster. This is how you can feed yourself for at least two to three years till stability comes back in any shape of order. Those of you who consume the CO2 is your problem. Those of you who consume the protein in the time of emergency, you have taken a step. But we advise you not to consume it in a way of physical taking, but consume it by putting it on a glass, a cup, and wrap it that you don't touch it and consume the water. You receive a full energy as you're drinking or eating protein every day. Try to replace the amino acid on regular basis, every two or three days. You just put a cup that it creates amino acid from space, from the environment. This amino acid is uncontaminated, does not matter if there is a nuclear explosion in the time of the disaster. The amino acid which collected is untouchable, is pure. We expect a large number of nuclear reactors across the world, if this disaster happened to go off, even one of them will be addition to what we had already with Fukushima.
So, nuclear contamination is inevitable. There is a process that you can decontaminate yourself in the eventuality of the second Fukushima accident, especially on the west coast of United States, in the center line, on the Chinese side with the Japanese. Last time we had no warning. This time you can protect yourself. The protection is very simple. Try to create a room, a nano-coated room, with at least two layers of nano-coating. Build the cardboard box with two layers of aluminium nano-coated, if you have. In the olden days, in the Second World War, in England, a lot of houses had a bunker house. People used to go in it whenever the Hitler attacked. In these environments, you create the same nuclear bunker system. Very cheap, very effective, but you cannot just use the aluminium. You need to nano-coat at least two sheets of aluminium, both sides, on top of each other. The nano-coating absorbs most of the radiation. You can do the same thing if you use anything to be, in the time of disaster, to be radiation-proof. You can put it on your body. Make sure you don't come in touch directly with nanomaterial. In the case of emergencies, in the case of disaster, make sure you can use, you have the first wire you come across, try to burn it, and that is your disinfectant. You use the copper, if you find a copper pipe, burn it outside, that it become nano-coated, you can do anything you like with it, to be going the way you understand, to make nano-coating. Get the ashes, and create the caustic from the ash, which is very normal. And try to get the water pipe, do not nano-coat inside the pipe. Just allow the water to go through it. That, in so many ways, you absorb, every energy you need for you to eat, at the same time, any viruses, infections, most of them can be uh, destroyed. Create patches of copper wire that you can put in the water, continuously leave it there. And drink from that water, even if it's a running water, if it's a stagnated water, when you take it out, make copper coils nano-coated to you can do, you know how to make nano-coating. A fire which you've seen, been taught from the innovation center, creates its own caustic condition, as the ash does when you use a caustic. This is something a lot of you never understood. Maybe now you understand better, why the nano-coating sometimes behaves as good as the caustic, because you make caustic out of the ash, now, you use the copper itself to be the ash of itself, that's why the nano-coating works, when you do it with a fire. So, understand, very simple, do not ever walk, do not ever come across any material, any water stagnated to drink, unless you put it through a copper nano-coated mesh, or you drop a copper wire, which is nano-coated in a container, that it gives you temporary relief, that you do not drink contaminated or irradiated water, put it across the pipe, decontaminate your waters to drink. The nuclear accident, if any of the power stations goes by the earthquake, it'll be worse than the earthquake itself. We have to respect the report from other scientists around the world, which on the back of the executive order, have issued warning and after warning. You must have been surprised, how come suddenly so much ex uh, people are reporting earthquakes everywhere, and they were saying nobody knows what's coming from. This started with the Keshe Foundation warning on the 2nd of February, 
We've seen exactly what on that day, and other scientists are just adding to it. We see just now comes west coast of California volcano struck by 3.8 m earthquake. This is just coming this afternoon, February. And you see it sits on the Los Angeles area, on the west coast, on the, what I call, Californian area. So, we are imminently going to be hit by earthquake in the coming, short coming time. I can give you the date and the time, but we are not here to create mayhem. I have written a private memo to the Keshe Foundation in a specific Keshe Foundation group. Wins, Rick, you are in that group. Can you bring it out what I explained about everything else? Yeah, I'll see if I can find that, Mr. Kesh. You know which one I'm talking about? I think so. Um, yeah, it was some couple of weeks ago, I, 10 days ago. I don't know well, if I can I access did. that through through my... Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking for it. Okay, thanks. Vince. So, we have been warning the Kesh Foundation on the people within the group that what is to be expected. We make it public now. This is what we warn our people. I have instructed strongly, I have requested Arman to withdraw his family from the San Jose area. We do not know when the time, we will not know how, because if we announce it, it creates a mayhem, and we are not in that game. Please understand, this is a strong warning from the Keshe Foundation to people in Philippines, in Indonesia, in Tibet, in Tehran, in Los Angeles, and the rest of the people the way we spoke two weeks ago. Earthquake is imminent. This is what we see, is getting stronger, I explained to you simply exactly why we see the minute. If you remember, in summer, before autumn time, I explained about the earthquakes and we saw it happening. Because of the change and the pressure on the planet, now the pressure goes on the southern hemisphere. If the point of the maximum pressure falls at a time when South America crosses, and the period of the 10 hours we expect of the switch, then the pressure is like a, literally like a gel, will push the South American continent down, if you have a ball in your hand, a sponge, and you push it, the, if you have a balloon, the other side of the balloon will move, and that movement will release huge number of volcanic eruptions across the world. Because now, the indentation, the pressure on the Southern Hemisphere, on the continent of South America, will squeeze the juice out of the rest, which is the volcanic eruptions. Most of, here it is, would you like to read it please? This is what I wrote to my team, okay. a couple of weeks ago. Um, it says, be ready today for start of the big changes, and I hope you are all ready for this change. I have prepared you for it, and now we start the change in the course of humanity. I'll be with you, and hope you are strong to carry the changes through. In my name, we shall bring about the beginning and the final phase of peace action today in our teachings. We start the establishment of the unification of the human race today. It is for you all to give and take your position in this change as your souls have agreed. I have given you another in one of the chats, plasma groups, regarding the measurements of, and the size of the waves. Can you okay. take that out? Let me see here. It's in one it's, of the I'm looking there too, Rick. It's the three plasma groups we have. In one of them, I warned about the size. Let me explain to you exactly what happens. When the pressure comes, when the Southern Hemisphere pressure, by the change of the season, 
as it comes, we are going now to the spring, and the autumn of the southern hemisphere, the pressure of the southern hemisphere on the continent of South America, we squeeze the magma in a way that is changing, and because already situation has moved in a different depth, we will see magma squeezing out, out of every orifice on this planet. Can you read this one, please? Okay, in, in response to the question someone asked in respect to the pending Earth condition, we talked about in the 100th workshop, we expect <clears throat> water surges of up to 200 to 300 meters high in a large number of coastal lines, especially Florida, West Coast, Gulf of Mexico shoreline, Portugal, China East Coast, LA movement in shore and up to 300 meter wall in the sea. We see the Tokyo to be not part of the map in the near future. We see London to be flooded to 120 meter wall of water. New Zealand and Hawaii will see 100 meter wall. All islands of Central and East Asia will receive both earth motion and flooding. We've seen reported earthquake in Hawaii today, this week. This is understanding the total geography of the planet. And when we speak about the earthquake in Iran, is that the volcanic eruption pressure on a magma will push the magma out of the Dama Band and create the earthquake so initiator will be partially earthquake with the volcanic eruption and the motion of the planet. This situation is volatile and in next two weeks we expect more movement and hopefully if the movement does not happen at this time we move on to October and October, sorry, September, October. And we see that as the go at the time that the final push will come. The breakup will come and then we'll see huge changes. Please understand we are in the process of change in the science and coincidentally we see the same thing. Be prepared for it, because we start teaching the spaceship program in lift and motion in a rapid way in the coming weeks, to be able at least to move in a position where we can help some people. This is a natural phenomena, is not as somebody said, if you wish it, it will happen. You cannot change it, this is not by wish, this is the physical phenomena which is happening to this planet. So, my hand of peace goes to you, Excellency President Obama, you're listening, we know you're listening, you responded two weeks ago, we would like to have peace, that we can at least help those of people who are going to get hit, it's a domino effect. Once one place goes, the rest will follow. And it's so big that it leaves us no other room but to follow. We have moved to the city of the way, we consider it as a safe place, but radiation contamination is a possibility. If the waves hit in the center of, or part of Indonesia and back of Philippines, we'll see the whole east coast of Saudi Arabia, the, all the oil installations will be wiped out. We have come this place to be safe, and we are safe. So, be prepared. I am not in a way to create a scaremongering, but we've been correct, we've seen it, we've seen activities increases, and if the system follows, is inevitable within next, I can give you exactly the date which might happen, but it's for you to be there, to be safe and safeguard yourself. 
I had said in my last talk, we see Washington and New York shaking. There will be no White House. White House will be flattened with the earthquake which is pending. Even the most strongest man in the world needs a safety box. Any other question? Um, I'm not sure what other questions we have here. Perhaps we should wrap things up, Mr. Kesh. Let's uh... yes, wrap it up. Thank you very much. Thursday teaching is the blueprint for agriculture and decontamination. And part of what I explained to you about the aluminium forest for decontamination is part of the teaching. Uh, I'm sure other people would add to us. As I said, on Thursday blueprint, you bring your prints. Please don't forget, go on the Cash Foundation website, book yourself into the 21st, 22nd of uh, April conference, because either way, we still have to have a say in what is going to happen. On the other hand, as I said, we will link other bits to you that you can make it easier for your flight and the organization set up in the background to help you with uh, your visas if you need one. Uh, there is a small cost you pay to the operators to get it for you and at the same time they organize the bus trip from this fly, any airport or whatever to the center. Um, this is mainly a lot of people to come and learn in the way of process of system building, developing systems and whatever is new and at the same time as we said we are the Cash Foundation Universal Council and then we see where we go and how we develop it. There are a lot of announcements which will come out in the next few days, but I'll find out what today is. Your Excellency President Obama, you are online. We know you are online, you responded twice. Please take the step and accept the hand of all peace from the Cash Foundation to your government and your office, because if the earthquake happens the way we see it, there shall be no White House. This is how bad it is and you know it, and you understand it, and your nation waits for your move. Thank you very much for today. We'll see you on Thursday. Great, thank you Mr. Kesh. Thank you indeed. And so ends the fifth International Knowledge Seekers Workshop for February 16, 2016. And as ever, thank you everybody for attending and for presenting things today. Much appreciated.